Hi, everybody. This is Rich Little. I'm sure you will enjoy using phonies on your answering machine as much as I've enjoyed doing them for you. The voices on this tape have been specially prepared to get you more messages. And now here's how to use them to best advantage. I, I thank you, Rich. Uh, using any standard cassette player, listen to the phonies' voices and then choose one. Ah, uh, three seconds before each voice, there's a cueing chime. Now this indicates that you have three seconds before the phonies' voice starts. Now in a quiet place, record your phonies' voice from the cassette player's speaker into the answering machine's microphone. Now, you can personalize your tapes in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the phony's voice. Now, this way, your friends will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. My fellow Americans, you can experiment with the distance between your answering machine's microphone and your cassette player's speaker for best results. Approximately three to four inch separation with a medium volume setting is recommended. Just remember, phonies will work on all types of answering machines, single cassette or loop, regardless of the make and age of the machine. Toupees are not recommended. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rich Little's phonies. Well, uh, thank you very much. Oh, Rochester, how much did you say this answering machine cost me? Here's a receipt, Mr. Benny. Gee, for this I could have paid off my dues at the club. Yeah, but the YMCA doesn't take messages. Now cut that out. You mean I have to provide the service free? I wonder if it's deductible. There's no one home, sweetheart. I'm here watching myself make love to Monroe, Lee, Crawford, and a whole lot of others on Gable Television. Lee? Oh, Vivian Lee, yes. <clears throat> I'm so tired that if you don't want to leave a message, frankly, my damn, I don't give a dear. A recent survey has determined that men who make obscene phone calls have sexual hang-ups. And they pay enormous fees to a professionals like myself answer for them. Those who don't make obscene phone calls can leave a message on a machine after the beep. Well, my fellow Americans, I have been saying over and over that there is no unemployment in America today. That's just a silly rumor started by a bunch of people who are out of work. If you will leave your name and your number at the sound of the tone, I will get back to you with an autographed picture of food on Nancy's China. Hello, darling. Oh, I'm so upset. I was just clipping the poodles, and I think all the poodles are gay. They keep hugging all the legs on the furniture. So please, I can't come to the phone. So just leave your name and number. No, Fifi, get off my leg. Hi. <laughs> My only regret is that I can't sit in the audience and watch myself or talk to myself on the phone. Now I have an answering machine, and I find the idea of listening to myself fascinating. Don't you? Oh, I just love playing Anne-Margaret.